the invisible touch. In the bustling town of Vertuville, nestled between rolling hills and serene rivers, lived a humble potter named Rohan. His life was simple, revolving around the rhythmic spin of his potter's wheel and the soothing touch of clay between his fingers. Rohan's hands crafted exquisite vases, delicate bowls, and sturdy pots, each piece telling a unique story of skill and dedication. Despite his talents, he remained unrecognized in a town that valued wealth and prestige over artistry. However, Rohan found contentment in his work, believing that true satisfaction came from creating something beautiful rather than seeking validation from others. One day, as he was sculpting a particularly intricate vase, an old woman appeared at his doorstep. Her presence was unassuming, almost invisible, but her eyes held a wisdom that immediately captured Rohan's attention. She asked if he could mend a simple clay cup that had been in her family for generations. Despite its apparent insignificance, the cup was precious to her. Rohan, always ready to help, accepted the task without hesitation. As he worked on the cup, the old woman watched silently, her gaze never leaving his deft hands. Unbeknownst to Rohan, the old woman was more than she appeared. She was Mariah, a mystical guardian of the town, endowed with the power to see the invisible threads of kindness, compassion, and integrity that wove through the fabric of human interactions. Her purpose was to guide and nurture those who embodied these qualities, ensuring that their silent contributions were recognized in the grand tapestry of life. Mariah had been observing Rohan for some time, intrigued by his unwavering dedication and humility. As she watched him repair the cup, she saw the invisible touch of his spirit, a touch that healed not just the cup but also the hearts of those who encountered his creations. When Rohan finished, Mariah took the cup with a grateful smile, leaving behind a single, shimmering gold coin as payment. Rohan was bewildered, for he had never seen such a coin before. It seemed to radiate a warmth that was both comforting and invigorating. He placed it in a small wooden box, thinking little of it at the time, but the coin had set in motion a series of events that would transform his life. The following day, Rohan noticed a subtle change in his workshop. The clay felt more pliant, his tools moved with newfound precision, and his creation seemed to glow with an inner light. Word of his remarkable pottery spread quickly, drawing visitors from neighboring towns and even distant cities. People were captivated by the beauty and craftsmanship of his work, and soon, Rohan's modest workshop became a thriving center of artistic excellence. However, the true magic lay not in the increased attention or wealth, but in the impact of Rohan's invisible touch. Each piece he crafted carried a fragment of his essence, his kindness, patience, and passion, and these qualities resonated with those who owned them. The vases brought harmony to homes, the bowls seemed to enhance the flavor of meals, and the pots nurtured the plants they held, growing lush and vibrant. Rohan's pottery became a symbol of the unseen forces that bind humanity, a testament to the power of creating with love and intention.